Hey everybody, it's Roberto and welcome to another DSLR tutorial video. I'm here with my Nikon D3100 and I have a special lens on this. This is the 35mm lens that I use to get a lot of my best shots. The great thing about having a 35mm prime lens is even though you can't zoom with this, it's okay because you can just move closer and get further back, but what you can do with this that you can't do with many zoom lenses is you can get shallow depth of field. You can create these great bokeh effects in your images and you can really make the subject pop off of the background with them and it's tack sharp when you do it right. This camera is also great when you use a 35 millimeter lens for low light situations, whether that be for photography or for video. So that's the really great thing that I like about using a 35 millimeter prime lens or a 50 millimeter prime lens with uh, this type of camera. So whether you're doing photography or you're doing DSLR video, a 35 millimeter or 50 millimeter prime lens is a great starter lens for you besides the kit lens that comes with your camera in terms of getting either great portraiture shots or handling uh, shots, whether it be photo or video in low light situations. Uh, I like to use this a lot when I'm doing interviews or when I'm doing headshots because I just think it's really great for that. I love being able to, again, make the focus be on the subject and just drop off the background completely by shooting at f1.8 or shooting at 2.2 or even 2.8. If I still need something to be tack sharp, I'll you shoot at like maybe f4 and I'll still be able, just depending on the situation, to get some depth of field and that works out just fine. And I also do that when I want to do a drop off like that in group shots as well. So the 35 millimeter prime lens is great for photojournalism, it's great for portrait photography, it's great for weddings, and it's my primary lens that I use when I'm going out and I'm shooting cosplay photography or cosplay video. So, the one other thing that I will mention about getting a prime lens like this is whether you're getting the 35 millimeter or the 50 millimeter, these are actually relatively inexpensive. These are about $200 a piece, which is really good for the quality of glass that they are. So if you're gonna get into portrait photography or wedding photography and you need a great uh, lens for when you're doing your pose shots, then I would go with this 35 millimeter because it's cheap and affordable until you can do something bigger. You don't need the larger telephoto f2.8 lenses when you're just starting out. Even if you can afford them, you won't necessarily know how to use them. This is a great lens for learning composition, getting great shots, and working in a lot of different situations. So this is a very strong lens if you're gonna be focused primarily on shooting portraits. If you're gonna shoot stuff like uh, stage photography, events, um, you know, stage performances and concerts, then maybe you do need an f2.8 at either, um, you know, something like, oh, 24 to 70 or 70 to 200. You might actually need that in those situations, but if you're just going to do uh, basic weddings, you can use this and you can use a standard telephoto lens. It's gonna be of a lower quality, it's gonna be of a lesser build, but it's gonna be affordable for you and allow you to get the shots. And you're not gonna need um, necessarily as much depth of field for those particular type of shots for what those events are. So that's just an option. Uh, if you are gonna get another uh, lens besides this, I would say that another good affordable lens to go with is an 85 millimeter prime. I wouldn't get a 35 and a 50 just because there's not enough difference. You can actually just take two steps forward and it's the same lens, two steps back. The larger focal length does have some compression um, benefits to it, so that is an option. But my preference is to go with the 35. It's a more flexible lens uh, for tight situations. And if I'm gonna get something else, I'd get the 85 millimeter just because it's a bigger gap in terms of focal length. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, DSLR tutorial video. Uh, if you have any more questions about 35 millimeter or prime lenses, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. If you guys have any photos that you want me to critique, I'm doing that over on my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash robertoblake2. So head over there if you wanna post a photo that you want me to critique. Uh, remember that my specialty is portraiture, but I'm happy to give you any advice that I can on your photography. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other great videos on my channel. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today.